Hello Batman fans, today I will be reviewing Batman Detective Comics issue number 20. So, the comic starts out with Oldravi actually, you know, first he was like kind of in the shadows, you know, making his work secret, blaming on other people, but now he's just out doing whatever, saying, I want my name out there, I am Emperor Penguin. So he robs a bank, steals like 3,000 tons of dollars and all that. So, then we see that we're at court, and the penguin, who was actually just frauled for trespassing the zoo, he gets out of that, so he's free. So, the penguin is pissed off and all that at, you know, Old Javi, and penguin's free. And then Batman's like, okay, I gotta go take down Emperor Penguin and, you know, lock him up in Blackgate Prison. So, Batman comes to his house thinking taking down this guy in the tumbler, you know, I got this, and Old Javi actually, or Emperor Penguin, uses a few things, he uses the Bat Serum, Poison Ivy's Poison, and Bane's Venom to make himself, like, blue-skinned and extremely powerful. As you can see on the cover, he's, like, grabbing Batman's neck, and that is Emperor Penguin, and he just knocks the shit out of Batman and actually hangs him from a tree. So, Old Ruby's like, okay, I just killed the Batman, I am the top of the list right now in Gotham. So, Old Ruby goes back in the house, sits down, smokes a cig, and then we see Penguin coming in and shoots Batman down, because Batman was hung, but his costume and his cape and everything actually saved him from suffocating. So, the Penguin saves Batman and says, I want my spot back, so I'm saving your life. So the Penguin and Batman go into the house where Emperor Penguin is, and Batman beats the shit out of Oldravi and throws like a batarang, electric batarang, actually, and shocks him. He falls down the staircase, and uh, he's knocked out, and out of nowhere, Penguin comes up and shoots Oldravi right in the face. Batman's like, you just killed him, but really, uh, don't worry, Emperor Penguin, he isn't dead. He's just completely knocked out and extremely injured. And during the epilogue, we got um, Emperor Penguin. He is in Blackgate Prison and all that. And also, the Penguin who bought like the uh, adoption center for uh, all like Bruce Wayne. Penguin's like giving it back to Bruce Wayne and uh, Pennyworth who are like with uh, Cobblepot and everything. So, Carl Paul gives them an adoption center, says, Oh, you can name it after your mom, I don't care anymore, I'm leaving, I'm going back in the shadows. And Batman says to himself, You sure can try, Penguin, but I'll be in the shadows as well, and I'll be waiting for you. So now the Penguin's sort of, you know, misting away, everything's back to normal. We've got the Emperor Penguin locked up in Blackgate. But we got a little thing at the end saying, Next, armed for the assassination. And all we see is some girl... I don't know exactly who it is, but we got purple mist behind her, and she looks like an assassin aiming to kill Bruce Wayne. So that's going to be exciting. And I won't say exactly what happens at the very end, because I really want you to read it. It's kind of interesting, and it will set up future stories, but that's to say Emperor Penguin is no more. He has a new name. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I give it a 7 out of 10. Um, I think, first, I wasn't too good with Emperor Penguin, but... I, I like him a lot more now, and I'll definitely take him. So, I want you to pick up this comic. It's only $4 at your local comic book store, and it is definitely worth the read. So, don't, for don't forget to click that like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest comic book news and comic book reviews. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. Tweet me there. I will get back to you. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a nice day.